The Night Before New Year's. Written by Natasha Wing. Illustrated by Amy Wommer. Twas the last day of December, what we call New Year's Eve. A whole year had flown by. It was hard to believe. We were pretty excited. Our puppy was too. We cheered, out with the old and in with the new. Oh, please, I begged. Can we stay up till midnight? For this one special evening, my parents told us, all right. So we drove to the store to buy party supplies, hats, horns and poppers, and sparkly bow ties. At home, we put up all the streamers and balloons, silver glitter and gold stars to twinkle up our rooms. A banner was hung by the ceiling with care in hopes that baby New Year soon would be there. We gathered for dinner, a grand late night feast. All our family favorites. I ate three cupcakes at least. With a clink of our glasses, we all gave a toast. Making New Year's resolutions, my dad had the most. But I couldn't come up with one single vow. That's okay, said Mom. You don't have to right now. After dinner was done, we played checkers and charades, then broke out the cards for a long game of spades. We shared fond memories. Oh, there were dozens. Holidays, camping trips, and new baby cousins. Our eyelids were droopy, so we ducked out for fresh air. Then came in to watch the crowd lining Times Square. One more hour, said Dad, till the new year is here. Put on your hats, said Mom. Let's practice our cheer. Counting down from 10 without a single mistake. We tooted horns and popped poppers. I was now wide awake. My brother chased our puppy all through the house. Then Mom and Dad noticed it was as quiet as a mouse. There was no sound of barking, no little boy chatter. So we sprang from the couch to see what was the matter. When what to our wondering eyes should appear? But two party poopers. Make that three now. Oh dear. While our puppy curled up, on my father's lap, my brother and I went upstairs for a five minute nap. We both soon were nestled all snug in our beds while visions of fireworks danced in our heads. The next thing I knew, it was sunny and bright. Rats, we missed ringing in the new year last night. But that's when I came up with my resolution, I believe. I absolutely will stay up for next New Year's Eve. The end. Have you ever tried to stay up on New Year's Eve like the main character? Hope you enjoyed this story read by me, Star. Until next time, keep reading.